Hey guys, Dusty Baker, Cross Summers Bison. Welcome back to the channel. Today, starting a new project. Uh, I do have a couple of projects going right now. One, we're getting some fence built. It's our front stretch of the property along uh, the road here, our main road. It is the far east side, just kind of the beginning or the front of the property. Um, we're getting that project is going. Uh, some two and seven eighths pipe is being driven and a top rail and then we're gonna, Kevin and I are gonna come back through and put on some of those 20 foot continuous panels. Um, but starting a new project, I'm really excited about this one. Guys, this is our loafing shed. Uh, this is a, uh, it's a 60 by, this is a 60 by 80 barn. It's a huge barn and this barn already existed here, obviously, uh, if you're just now joining us at the new ranch. But one thing I love about this barn is this, awesome this awesome feed these feed bins right here and uh these already existed here we've been using the heck out of them because i've been feeding my uh dakota pure calves that i have in here uh, my 11 calves speaking of there's one right there uh they're getting used to me finally but uh, i've been feeding them in here because i'm trying to get them uh kind of acclimated to being around humans they run a really big ranch um but they're kind of slowly rolling in here but um I've been feeding them out of these uh, feed bunks right here. And um, what we're gonna do is something uh, my wife and I are very excited about, is this third of the barn, which is a 20 by 20, we're actually gonna turn that into an office is what we're going to do. I know you're going, Dusty, what are you doing? Why are you gonna take off some of your feeding uh, trough area or your feed bunks? Why are you gonna do that? Well, guys, we only use, um, you know, maybe, 40 feet of it really uh, we don't do a lot of feeding like this and, and it's only temporary I'm, I'm, I'm hand feeding these guys right now because i'm trying to get used i'm trying to get them used to me and uh get them used to with people so we're not always gonna be feeding animals in here but what we're gonna do is take this area 20 by 20 and we're gonna turn it into an office and, and we're still we've got some we're also inside the barn. We're gonna divide some of it up. Like I said, it's 80 long and 60 wide or 60 deep, however you wanna, whatever you wanna call it. Uh, but we're gonna turn, we're gonna do some work inside this barn. But this is gonna be the biggest one is right here. So we're gonna turn this into an office um, and we can work from and have somewhere to hang out when we come up here to work on the ranch and whatnot. So that is gonna be right here. And one of the fun parts about this I'm really excited about is um, I contacted uh, a former student of mine. If you guys didn't know, I was a coaching teacher for 10 years. Well, my first five years, I taught in Texas. And I taught in Plano, Texas. I was on the east side of Plano. And Maya, leave him alone. Maya. She's always messing with him. But I started teaching at Plano East, my first time teaching. And basically, uh, I started teaching middle school. Well, I got, uh, I ended up teaching and got really close to a lot of uh, good kids there. And I was coaching football as well. So uh, I got into some really good relationships there. And created those, you know, what you want is those lifelong bonds. Well, I, I, I've, I've been, I try to keep up with my students and, They've graduated high school and on to college, and they're about to graduate college now. This first group of kids that I taught in middle school there. And I know one of them is a uh, welds, and, or is a welder, and he does a lot of this type, he does a lot of this type of work. His name's Sam. Well, I reached out, I thought of Sam, and I was like, I really want to get this barn going. I've got the fence being built, and we're going to build some of that too, but um, we're trying to get all, a lot of work done on this place and get it going. But I was like, I need some help. Everybody's at normal jobs, you know. So um, I said, man, I'd re reach out to Sam. So I called Sam, and he's out in Lubbock, Texas, uh, working. I uh, does a lot of welding work on ranches and, and whatnot, and ranch work. So uh, I reached out to Sam, and I said, man, do you want to come up here? And I said, uh, 
do you want to help me, uh, you know, build some uh, rooms in this barn? And uh, he was super pumped, and we talked about it for a while, and he, he jumped on it pretty quick. So um, I'm excited for Sam to be here. You guys will meet Sam. And uh, he, was a, he was a good kid uh, in middle school, and obviously, uh, while we kept up the relationship uh, over time, um, and he, uh, what Sam did was he started to kind of, he started to kind of, as he got older, he started to get into the countryside of things, <laughs> you know, kind of the way I grew up. And that's hard to do when you're living in, in, in Plano, Texas. Um, but he started to get that countryside of him, and, and he went out to Lubbock and, and started working on ranching and whatnot, and that's what he wanted to do. And now he's into welding and, and run, is about to start running a welding business. So um, I give uh, give credit to him for, for doing what he wanted to do and, and growing up in the city and, and wanting to uh, get out and, and do some country things and some uh, ranch style things and, and do something a little bit different um, than most of his friends. But Sam and I kept up. He was a heck of a football player. Um, he was always a kid that you could just tell him what to do, and, and we knew as coaches that he was going to do it. And so uh, I, I know he's kept that integrity as he's gotten older, and so I can't wait to catch up with him. It's been years since I've actually seen him, but um, I'm excited to actually hang out with him and spend some time with him and actually work with him. That's something, you know, you just never never know. But, uh, you know, time goes on and, and it comes back around basically, and so I'm excited. I'm excited to spend some time with Sam. So with all that said, <laughs> I know I'm jabbering, but, you know, I, I love my kids that I taught, and um, I, uh, I just enjoyed my time, and, and that's why you teach uh, is because you set them, you try to help those kids set up for success, but also it's the relationships and bonds that you get with those kids as you're teaching, and uh, those can last forever, and those kids remember those teachers. So, um, excited for Sam to get here. So you guys will meet Sam. Sorry, I've been jabbering so much, but we're going to get started in this. We're going to work together. So we're going to bring you along on this. I know you'll get to still see the bison. Uh, they'll be right here. I had to go to pure calves. So anyways, stay tuned guys. Got some work to do. So that's the next thing I'm gonna do. I'm gonna fire up the New Holland skid steer. I'm gonna get it fired up. I'm gonna move all these round bells, get them out, get them stacked up because guys, when you're welding, you know, uh, it can be, it doesn't take much to get it started, and especially in a big, awesome barn like this. It doesn't take much and you don't want um, a barn full of hay bells on fire because it um, won't be good. So I'm gonna get them all out just in case. And uh, you can always bring them back in after the work's done so we can take care of our hay. So let's hop in the 332.
Well, I just cleaned out this dusty, dusty barn. Um, so I got all the hay out of here, all the round bales of hay, and I went ahead and scooped up a bunch of this dirt. You can see this loose dirt. Every time you step, it just, I mean, every time you step, it's so dusty. This barn, there's no telling. It probably hadn't been cleaned out since it was built, and I don't even know when it was built. Let's just say it needed it. Lots of hay, remnants, dirt stacked up in here. And it's a, it's a dirt floor, which is totally fine. But now that we're going to put some walls up in here, um, you know, it needs to be cleaned out and whatnot. So I'm going to put up a uh, some wall here, maybe some other stuff. My wife and I are still thinking about it. But uh, this is the loafing shed. I'm on the inside of the barn now, obviously. But this is where the office is going to go. So we've got a... Uh, we're going to sheet metal all this up to keep a lot of the dust from coming in here because the calves are feeding out of there. Um, and they eat out of there. And when they do, the, the dust comes in here and the wind blows a lot of it in here. And it settles right here and covers all of our stuff. So, but this is, uh, this is nice to finally get this cleaned out. And it looks really good. So now when Sam and I are welding in here and working, there's no risk uh, of getting a fire started or anything like that. So um, but that hay stacked up outside. It's been in here for a while now since the summer. So we're good to go there. So I'm going to go get the welder, bring it back over here. Sam is going to get here from Texas. He had a long trip. And then we're going to do some measuring. We're going to go get some 8 inch sea perlin. Um, we're going to get some metal, some other stuff. And then uh, we're going to do some measuring, figure it out, and then we're going to get to work. So I'm going to bring you along whenever we uh, we will do all that. And then I'll hook back up with you whenever we uh, actually start putting this thing together and start welding and framing it up. So a little bit. That was easy enough. 